hi everyone welcome back to the channel so today as you guys have chosen we are doing an obsidian flames in a shining fates opening um it's not really a battle but it is going to be an opening so i am also opening as well the new Quaquavo ex10 this was released yesterday on september 1st so I did pick up one. They do come in threes. Um, well, not like three together, but like the starters. So I did pick up this one. I probably will pick up the other two because they are promos. I mean, they're alternate promos, but they are promos. So, and then I am also going to open this three pack blister here. So we have a lot to open today. So we are going to jump into it after I show you some other pickups that I did get. Um, I did return uh, those two packs to Best Buy that had been opened and resealed, quote unquote, and they did replace the two packs, um, not with a Chilling Rain and a Silver Tempest because they didn't have any more, but I think it was a Astro Radiance and yeah, that's what it was. It was an Astro Radiance and a Scarlet and Violet, so nothing was in here but there's no hits in there but i will at least give you guys the codes out of them but there's like no hits to actually like sing about so those that is that um also while i was there before i left i didn't ask about the stamped um SBN card and they did have it so i was able to pick up one so now i have this one also so that's good and I'll actually set that up there on top of my Obsidian Flame stack. Um, I have these two cute little pins here that I wanted for my pin collection. I can't wait to put all this stuff up. Um, as you can see, they were only $6.99. Um, Cleveland goes to all the card shops around town. I, I've been to a few now with him in the pop store, which I love. But um, he found these pins and he sent me a picture and I asked for these two. So these are the two that I got and they are so lovely. And I can't wait to put all my pins together when I get a pin board, which I am currently looking for. And then also another pickup, <clears throat> which will be on my um, Instagram. I picked up the Wednesday pop figure because I love the Adams Family and um, this is actually from obviously the Netflix um, series. So as you can see on her shirt, it has an end for Nevermore. So yeah, so I picked this up, it was at GameStop and it was there the last time I went and I was like, I'll wait, I'll see if I think about it and then I'll pick it up and then it was still there so I did get it. So. That and other pop figures will be on my Instagram at life underscore of underscore Nisha. Please go follow me there. You will get more content there on like pop figures um, and things of that nature. Also over there with Pokemon, that's more so like where I do like the Pokemon Go, um, pop figure collecting and cards. So over there is where you see a lot of different stuff. Okay, this doesn't want to cut <laughs> so I want to show you that um, there is a pop figure I have not shown on the channel and it's super nice and it's huge so definitely we'll be showing that um, I'm actually going to move my trash can over so that the trash is going into the trash can and not on the floor I need to start doing that anyway because it's easier than me picking up stuff afterwards so okay so here is obsidian flames etb it is a regular etb here's the book that i'm not going to go through it or the player's guide because you guys already know what's in there so i'm just going to sit this stuff to the side okay not going to go through everything you have the die, the sleeves, the damage, not the damage, well, the damage counters are in there. Um, the sleeves and the uh, energy, the energies stack, I guess. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
packs of Obsidian Flames, as well as this Charmander promo that comes in every ETB now of Scarlet and Violet so far. It is a little warped, a little bent, but that is okay. We can unbend those. So I'm actually going to sit this here and move this stuff to the side. So, <clears throat> let's get into this opening. I hope you're all are having a good uh, week. It's actually currently Saturday morning at 7. Well, by the time I start this, it was 7.25. These codes, I'm not going to show you all because this is not my ETB. Um, but you will get the codes for Shining Fates and for the um, Coquabble 10 when we open it. So... That is what we're doing. This is Cleveland's um, ETB, and he wanted me to open it, as well as the three-pack for Obsidian Flames. So that is what we're doing. It's going to be a pretty long video, so we are just going to kind of, you know, get to it. Hopefully, we get some good pulls, though. Ooh, okay, a Pidgeot EX on the first pack. Awesome. That's nice. That is a very nice card. I really don't have much to talk to you guys about today. Um, besides, as you can see, the nails are gone. Ha ha ha. I got them taken off yesterday. So now we're like back to regular business up in here. So... Yeah, other than that, I don't think I have anything else to talk to you guys about. Um, my week has been pretty boring. Um, yeah, pretty much. That's pretty much it, you guys. Like, I have nothing to sing about. <laughs> Pokemon League headquarters. We have a Houndor and a Holographic Togekiss. I do know, I will say, um, with my ETB, with Shining Fates, um, myself in Chasing the Zard, he is a PokeTuber also here on YouTube, and he opened some Shining Fates yesterday, and he and I uh, want to see who gets the best pull. So I did watch his video yesterday. You guys can check it out after this video, and you can go and you can tell us who you feel like got the best pulls out of Shining Fates. He didn't open an ETB, but he did, um, I think, the, the Gold Bat box and I think a four-pack, I believe, like a Pikachu four-pack or something. So you guys can go check out his channel and let us know who you think got the best pulls out of Shining Fates. Again, his name is Chasing the Zard. And he's in the comment section also. So if you don't remember, he'll be down there in another video um, before, you know, if he does, when he doesn't come in on this one. And if you guys get to it first, then he will be in like last week's video or the week before um, in the comment section. So just so you all know and you can find him easily. We have a Varum in a Gita Hollow. So nothing yet as far as the Pidgeot and we have five packs left. So hopefully we can get at least, um, I wanna say three more pulls, at least three. Okay, Gloom, Bronzor, Snubble, Darmanitan, Stoutland, Frog Deer, Reverse Hollow Oddish, ooh, a Palafin, um, I guess Art Rare, and then a Dark Rye Hollow. So that's good. We at least got a Palafin, it, which I actually really like this one. Um, it looks like little dolphins in the background. I don't know if they're dolphins. Nope, they're not. They're finisins. <laughs> but. It's very cool though, and he looks like the muscular evolution. So that's nice. <clears throat> Excuse 
Excuse me. <clears throat> I don't know. <clears throat> Jesus, I can't get it out. <laughs> I don't know why that happens. It only happens when I'm recording. <clears throat> it almost never happens any other time. So <sighs> hopefully that goes away, but probably not. But I am going to drink tea after this video. I always drink it after. I never drink it before because normally when I drink tea, I am sitting and writing or I'm sitting and doing homework while I'm drinking my tea. And <clears throat> I'm trying to like stay focused with that. And then if I drink it, I don't want to have tea over here and trying to drink it in between packs and then I waste it and cards get wet. Like that's just just asking for a disaster and knowing me that probably would happen. So we're not gonna do that. Um, but I will just wait until afterwards because it's still early in the morning. So, you know, it gives my body time to actually wake up instead of using caffeine to wake it up. So yeah, a reverse hollow clay at all, which I don't even know if I've even seen this. I mean, of course, I've seen the hollows plenty of times, but the reverse hollow, reverse hollow cryagonal, and then a holographic ente. Okay, so two packs left of this ETB, and then we will get into um, Shining Fates. So you guys can start collecting some codes, and then we'll get into the other two items that we are opening in the video as well. Club Chew, Spoink, a Tynamo, <clears throat> excuse me, Buffalant, which I haven't caught in Pokemon Go, but I seen somebody in our um, in our Facebook page caught one yesterday. It's so exciting. Um, Rhyme Reverse Hollow, a Tad Bulb Reverse Hollow, and a Hollow Scovillian. Okay, let's see if we can get some last pack magic out of here. I bet that there's going to be something in that three pack, though. Um, there's always, at least, most of the time, one hit out of the three packs. At least one, most of the time. Not all the time, but most of the time. Have a Zigzagoon, Bear Tick, Charmeleon, Escadrill, Reverse Hollow Magnezone, Reverse Hollow Numel, and a Holographic Scizor. So. Out of the nine packs, we hit two pulls, which was this Pidgeot EX and a Palafin, which again are very nice cards. But, you know, the packs to hit ratio. I probably should stop tilting them. That's probably the problem. But I also don't want to cut myself. <laughs> okay. So, Shining Fates is definitely now an older set. And I think that we still have it because I think they printed so much of it, I assume. And we're just still getting it. I mean, they have the product, so why not? Um, I was trying to figure out if I could see when they were printed, but I know it's on the packs, though. So... We'll get there. It also comes with a booklet that I'm not really going to go through. I'll go through semi-ish briefly only because, um, like, the shiny vault, like, the baby shiny vault that stops right here, it says 104 right there. These are, like, the big shinies for, that are still in the shiny vault, but 104 baby shinies. Like, it's a lot, and I haven't even made a dent in the Baby Shinies. I know I haven't. So, hopefully today we can get some of these Baby Shinies, and um, also some of the full arts that we don't have, which is plenty. So, we have plenty to pull. Um, I also don't have the Charizard, so that would be cool if we pulled one, but I doubt it. But, you know, hey, we shall see. I'm obviously not done um, opening Shining Fates, obviously. It won't be until, you know, I get everything. 
Or if I can't find it anymore, then I guess I'll buy them. But, you know, until then. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten packs in here. I was like, there's paper on here. Um, here is the code that will probably unlock the sleeves, um, the promo, and dividers, I think. And then here is the EV VMAX promo, which I have like totes and loads of. So yeah, um, we're not gonna get into those. Same thing in here is in um, all other ETB sleeves. Um, what is it? Sleeves and dividers and damage counters and stuff and whatnot. So we're going to get into these. I was going to say something else, but I don't know what it was. Um, I have no clue. Like, no clue though. Did I miss? I missed the trash can, y'all. <laughs> it went straight to the floor. I'm not going to do a pack trick because we have so much more to open. <laughs> Thank you all for sticking around and watching the videos. I really do appreciate that. Um, it means a lot and it helps the channel out a lot also. When you all sit and watch the videos, um, commenting, liking, subscribing, all of that helps the channel. So I really do appreciate everyone for doing that. I know this is the first time that I've turned it upside down. I don't know how I've been like actually managing to not do that lately. I have no idea. No earthly idea, but. Okay, so I feel like I'm a, there we go. It's at the bottom, not the tops. Okay, we have Cacnea, Glossiflor, Snow. I probably won't do the Patrick on all of them, but I'll probably do some. I have a reverse holo tri pinch and a non holographic Yen Mega. So, okay, I've already told you what I want out of the set baby shiny for sure. Not repeat baby shinies, but baby shinies I don't have. Um, the Charizard, of course, everybody wants a Charizard out of here, and I want to not pull. A full art um, Grim Snarl, except, well, I have both of them now, I believe. So I don't want to pull a full art shiny Grim Snarl. I have too many, or had too many. I have one. I had two that I was um, giving away. I gave away one, and then I think I am going to put the other one up for trade or sale. So I have a Verse Hollow Rusted Sword in a Boss's Order, non holographic. I really need to get all of my bulk together and sell it to be honest that's what I need to do but I'm not going to complain about it because I know I complain about it like once a month <laughs> and I'm going to leave that alone I'm just going to put that out there though Pufon, Eevee oh, a Weasel Trap Pinch what do we have? What do we have? Indeedy. Indeedy V and a non-holographic Volcanion. Have these two. Plenty of these. Plenty of them. I feel like this one and the Grim Snarl are the ones that I pulled the most. And I, I'm pretty sure I pulled more Pico a few times also. Since we can do a pack trick, I don't want to miss the opportunity to do some for old time's sake. Coffee, Horsey, Grooking, Morpico, Spinarak, Reverse Hollow Snow, and a non holographic Zarud. So we have one, two, three, four, five packs left out of here. So we're halfway through. Then we'll go back to Obsidian Flames, and then we will end with the Pequavel 10. All right, straight through, Spinarak, Snow, the two that we ended with are the first two in this pack. Corsi, Rowlet, Morpico, Reverse Hollow Eldegoss, 
in a Cinderace VMAX, okay? Pretty sure I have this one also, like already in, um, like in the collection. So it'll probably go up for trade or um, for sale. Cause I'm probably gonna put a binder together. Um, well, I'm not probably, I am gonna put a binder together for Cleveland to take with him um, to one of his um, card show things. Where he's at, where he actually has a booth, um, and he will sell them for me if I can't be there myself. And most of the time, I'm doing homework on the weekends, and he knows that, and he says that. <laughs> so, I mean, we'll see what happens. I wouldn't mind going actually just to kind of get a feel for it, but I don't know. I don't know yet, but just in case. I will give him that for him to take with him just to see how it does I mean I don't have the best cards in the world and I know that but for kids when kids come and can pay a dollar for cards that they like or whatever it's the cutest thing and it's it's worth it see you see what I mean do y'all see what I mean in a cremorant double head pack but you know Obviously, we just pulled this Indeedee. Two Indeedees in one box. And then a Cramorant, which I know for sure I have. And then we have two packs left, no baby shinies. And we're getting repeats out of one box. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. I just want baby shinies right now in, you know, the Charizard. Or a, a full art um, trainer. Reverse Hollow Bosses orders and a non-holographic Dreadnought. So, <sighs> last pack of Shining Fate. Again, you guys go check out Chasing the Zard here on YouTube. And watch his video of opening uh, of opening fates, good lord, of shining fates, <laughs> and let us know whose uh, shining fates opening was the best. Okay, let's see. You got a choodle. Okay, we have a Suicune, which I don't think I have. So awesome, and then a holographic decidui. So the box itself wasn't too bad. It has hits, but I could have did without the double packs. But at least, at least I got a sweet coon, which I need. So we can mark that out. Okay, so now we are going to go into this Obsidian Flames uh, EV3 pack. I know this video is a little longer than what I normally have, but I appreciate you all for sticking around and watching. Hopefully you like this content. And if you like longer videos where you see a plethora of different things being opened, then please let me know in the comment section down below. I did give this away. I don't think he would mind, but if he does mind, I have plenty of codes, but I don't think he will. Um. Here's the Eevee. I don't know if he looks for swirls and if he does, I guess he can try to look for it, but I don't see one off the top. But people will sit there and stare to try to find swirls out of these cards, like forever. And I'm, I don't know, I just don't. Okay, so let's see if we can pull him a Charizard out of these. Let's just see. Litwick, Young Goose, Charmander, Dratini, Espeon, which is the same one that Best Buy has with the stamp on it, Wishcash, have a Reverse Hollow Poltergeist, a Reverse Hollow Bonsly, or Bonslav, however you say it, and Nikita. 
Colo. <clears throat> Excuse me. Open, open, open. Okay. All right. We have a Froakie in the rain, which is what our community day was like. We're going to chase Froakies, and it started pouring on us. We have an Oinkalone, Letter of Encouragement, Reverse Hollow Fin is in. <laughs> Another Palafin, Art Rare. And then a Toxtricity Holographic. So now Cleveland has doubles of a palafin. And it's, going, it's getting very long back there, our line of hits. But that's okay. All right, we have a Finizen. Marvesta, Fungus, Pidgey, Frogadier, Drampa, Sharpedo, Reverse Hollow Milton. <gasps> we got the Gold Artisan. Well, he has the Gold Artisan <laughs> Trainer card. That is nice. And then a Holographic Clay Doll, which we have seen I don't know how many times. Well, that is wonderful. Very, very pretty, very pretty. I pulled um, a gold card in our last video, in Wednesday's video. Um, I will actually link it at the end of this video because it was a pack battle. It was actually a pack battle between me and Cleveland and um, it was a ETB pack battle. So if you have not watched that, um, that opening already, please do at the end of this one. Again, I will link it in the cards after. I'm trying to find the best place to do that. There we go. All right. Okay. So. So we have the Quaquavo EX right here. As you can see all the stars. And then you see down here at the bottom, it is promo number 35 of, um, I don't know why I wanna say Sword and Shield, we're not in the era anymore. We are in Scarlet and Violet. So it is a Scarlet and Violet promo number 35. And then here is the code. I'm not sure what that code will get you besides maybe this Quaquavel um, EX, but I'm not sure exactly what else. But I'm actually put that here. Put that down here with the rest of the promos that we got. And then we have, let's see what's in these teams because I honestly don't know. And I wanted to open them to see and to show you guys what's in here. We have Obsidian Flames, Obsidian Flames, Scarlet and Violet, Silver Tempest, and an Astro Radiance. Okay. Not too bad, I don't think, but people may not like the Astro and the Silver Tempest, but they could have put um, a Paldea Evolved in because that was the set that came out right before Obsidian Flames. But I'm not going to complain. I'm going to open these. Again, I will be getting the other two. And I'll probably put that in one video. Um, but let's see what we can get out of here. I haven't seen anyone as of yet open these tins. Um, I've seen them talk about them as far as like saying that they were coming out. Like a release type video. Like what's being released but I haven't seen anyone open them. And I promise you by the time this video uploads or while I'm uploading it, I'm gonna see people that have uploaded maybe yesterday, like late in the evening, or maybe people I don't know yet or just finding have opened it and then I will see um, the contents. But I do like to watch them to see if they have different contents than what I get because sometimes they are like, I want to say regional. I don't know if that's the right word, but 
like with some of the tins, um, like the Empoleon and Tyranitar tins, and other places, those have, um, they have Evolving Skies. And then when I picked up mine, it was just five packs of um, Brilliant Stars. So depending on where you live and where you're getting your products from, they can be different. So we shall see. We have a Dragonite Reverse Hollow and a non-holographic Miss Maggie. So nothing so far out of the 10. We have a Scarlet and Violet. Let's see what we can get out of here. That just opened up real nicely. Okay, let's see, there's a code. So we have a Crocker Rock, which I actually just um, hatched a sand doll yesterday morning or two days ago, I believe. My first one, so very happy about that. Trying to get some more to get those candies. Have a Florges, a Greedent, Reverse Hollow Growlithe, Reverse Hollow Sprigatito, and a Holographic Halucha. So nothing out of the tin at all. <laughs> Maybe I picked the wrong one. We have two Obsidian Flames left, last two packs of this video. Again, thank you all so much. I hope that you all have made it this far. Come on and open. Okay. Maybe I need to open it from down here then. <laughs> um, <clears throat> hope that you all made it this far and enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. Um, comment down below, maybe like your favorite pull of the video or um, if you have opened any of these products yourself or at least the last two, I guess. Or if you have any and are going to open it or keeping it sealed or maybe anything that you would like to see on the channel as well. Okay, we have a Reverse Hollow Wiglet, Reverse Hollow Toxel, and a Holographic Entei. So I think I just picked a bad 10, you guys. So last pack, hopefully there's something in here. Try to get some of that last pack magic, try. So we shall see. Thank you all so much again. Thank you for all that have been supporting me. However you are supporting me, if you are a returning viewer, please do um, consider subscribing, especially if you come back multiple times to watch my videos or you like this content and you just have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe. I will also be leaving a link because I definitely forgot about this. I have Fetch Rewards and if I can put something in right here, I will. But I will leave my link in the description box to Fetch for you guys to sign up and you basically just scan your receipts and you get points for that and you trade in those points for gift cards. So there's Best Buy, GameStop, um, PlayStation. I think they have Xbox also. And then, I mean, there's so much more that's on there. There's restaurants, there's places for like buying things from home. There's Amazon. So just go check it out and use my link and I'll get points as well as you will get points when you scan your first receipt. We're not going to get anything. We got nothing. Okay. Well, I mean, we at least got the promo, but I wish that there was for sure something in there. This tin, if you are wondering, I did pick this up from um, GameStop. I probably should have said that. I picked it up from GameStop. It was $25 um, because I am a pro member. But if you're not a pro member, I think it was like $28 maybe. So just keep that in mind. Here are our hits for the day. Very, very long line. If I can pan a little bit, there we go. Thank you guys so much again for watching, for... All of your support liking commenting subscribing everything just thank you guys so much and i will see you in the next video let me know if you guys want to see something specific on wednesday thank you